giving you today is a movie. And I'm not compromising the movie. So it might find, you might find yourself a little tense. But, but, but the movie starts off like this. Here go El Shaddai, the omnipotent one, the most high God, saying I'm going to duplicate my image and put some meat on him. And then you got born again way over here and looked at that image and said, well, he's just a Christian. And God, and Adam turned around looking at you and said, well, I'm not a Christian. I'm like that. Where would you get that from? Then you go over there and you say, well, I got it way over here in the New Testament. And Adam would say, well, you know what? Yeah, I know that's over there, but I'm not in sin right now. I am the righteousness of God. Some of y'all are getting this, but you know, so he's standing in his rightful place. And Adam's telling this Christian guy over here, well, you're a product of the fall. So until this guy over here get a revelation that he's no longer a sinner, but he's now the righteousness of God, then he'll realize that, that he's now have been brought back to the garden to be in the image of God himself. With the blessing. So now what's he going to do? He's going to tend to the garden and spread the kingdom of God and God's economy all over the planet earth. Not heavens, not the, not the world economy of keeping people in debt and lack of need. World economy is about controlling people. Proverbs 24. Looking at verse 3, through wisdom is a house built. Notice that. Wisdom builds a house. And by understanding, it is established. And notice this. And by knowledge, now that word there is talking about revelation knowledge. And by revelation knowledge shall the chambers be filled with all precious and pleasant riches. So it takes revelation to fill up your chambers. So if you're not getting what I'm talking about, you need to go ahead and get it so you can build your house, get some understanding about the house, and fill your chambers up with precious chambers. Come on, somebody. Is anybody here, is anybody having church today besides me? I'm having church. Now, let's go to an, uh, uh, another link of, 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 of this area of toiling used in a precious way. Go to Romans chapter 8. See, this thing is set up, man, for you to win. God is not planning on losing. I just want you in on it. If you ain't on the right side, you're on the side that's the bye-bye side. I tell you right now, we on the right side. And the kings of the kingdom... And the priests of the kingdom of God, they're going to win. Yeah. We have already won. Yeah. We're just walking it out right now. Yeah. And you're about to see the greatest move of God yeah. manifested yeah. in the lives of God's people. Yeah. Tell you that you're looking at one who's in it right now. You're looking at one. Now, now, here in Romans 8, look at verse 19. Now, notice what the word is saying. For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestations of the sons of God. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not opposing the word Christian. I'm not opposing the word Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian, and all those other religious words that we hold on to. But I am opposing their right to position you in the heavenlies. Just like if you were, if you get the title of a janitor and you're born again, you're a king. All right? I'm not letting the, you are not let the title position you. You're a secretary. Don't let the position title lock you in. 